The Likes of Hobbit Cove by Henry Lawson, written in 1897. Fire lighted. On the table, a meal for sleepy men. A lantern in the stable, a jingle now and then. The mail coach looming darkly by light of moon and star. The growl of sleepy voices, a candle in the bar. A stumble in the passage of folk with wits abroad. A swear word from the bedroom. The, the, the shout of all aboard. Get up, get up, hold fast there. And down the range we go. Five hundred miles of scattered camps will watch for Cobbenco. Old coaching towns already decaying for their sins, uncounted halfway houses and scores of ten mile inns. The riders from the stations by lonely granite peaks, the black boy for the shepherds on sheep and cattle creeks, the roaring camps of Golgong and many a digger's rest, the diggers on the Lachlan, the huts of farthest west, some 20,000 exiles who sailed for weal or woe. The bravest hearts of 20 lands will watch for Colin Cope. The morning star has vanished. The frost and fog are gone on one of those grand mornings which but on mountains dawned. A flask of friendly whisky, each other's hopes we share and share our top coats open to drink the mountain air. The roads are rare to travel, and life seems all complete. The grind of wheels on gravel, the trot of horses' feet, the trot, trot, trot and canter as down the spur we go. The green sweeps to horizons blue, the call for Cobb and Co. We take a bright girl actress through western dusts and damps to bear the home world message and sing for sinful camps. To wake our hearts and break them, wild hearts that hope and ache. Ah, oh, when she thinks again of them, her own must really shake. Five miles this side the gold fields a loud triumphant shout. Five hundred cheering diggers have snatched the horses out. With all Lang Syne in chorus, through roaring camps we go. That cheer for her, and cheer for home, and cheer for Cobb and Co. Three lamps above the ridges, and gorges stark and white. A splash on sandstone cuttings, where sheer the sh the sidling sweep, a flash on shrouded wagons, on water ghastly white, weird bush and scattered remnants of rushes in the night. Across the swollen river, a rush beyond the ford. Right hard to warn the driver, he's drunk or mad, good Lord. But on the bank to westward, a broad and cheerful glow, a hundred miles shall see tonight. The lights of Cobb and Co. Swift scramble up the sidling where teams climb inch by inch. Pause bird like on the summit, then break neck down the pinch. Past hoarded halfway houses where convicts made the bricks. Scrub yards and new bark shanties we dash with five and six. By clear ridge country rivers and gaps where tracks run high, where waits the lonely horseman, clear cut against the sky, through stringy bark, and blue gum, and box and pine we go, new camps are spread across the plains, new routes for Cobb and Cove.